Here we will see a very interesting and important question from the chapter mathematical induction. Here question is prove by the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to the set of natural number capital N 1 upon 1 into 4 plus 1 upon 4 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 10 plus up to nth term 1 upon 3n minus 2 into 3n plus 1 is equal to right hand side is n upon 3n plus 1. So, this is mathematical statement given here and we have to prove it by the method of principle of mathematical induction here. So, let us see the solution. Here given statement is mathematical statement is denoted by P n. So, here P n is 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 plus up to 1 by 3 n minus 2 into 3 n plus 1 and this is equal to n by 3 n plus 1. Let us call it relation number 1. So, in the previous videos we have done so many questions of this pattern. Here by principle of mathematical induction we have to take only 3 steps. First step we have to show that P1 is true means whenever we will put n is equal to 1 we will get P1. So, after putting n is equal to 1 here in relation number 1 we will show that LHS is equal to RHS it means P1 is true that we have to show. Second step we have to assume that PR is true means whenever n is equal to R uh, here in this statement we will assume that this statement is true and third and the last step is to show that prove that uh, p r plus 1 is true means putting n is equal to r plus 1 the statement which we obtained we have to prove that this is true ok. And uh, after we are doing all these 3 steps we have to write just one line statement that by the principle of mathematical induction this uh, given p n this statement is true for all n. So, let us start with the first step. Here we have to prove that we have to show that P1 is true ok. And for this we will put putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1. So, we are putting n is equal to 1. So, here we have to take only one step out of these n steps putting n is equal to 1. So, this first term is 1 by 1 into 4 we have to take only one term since we are putting n is equal to 1. So, this first term is 1 upon 1 into 4 and the right hand side we will get putting n is equal to 1. So, 1 by 3 into 1 plus 1 ok or we are getting here 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4. So, we are getting here LHS is equal to RHS. This is true proved ok. So, therefore, P1 is true. Second step we have to assume that PR is true putting n is equal to R here. So, assuming PR is true. So, putting n is equal to r in relation number 1. We will get this statement p r will be 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 plus n is equal to r here. So, this is 1 by 3 r minus 2 into 3 r plus 1 this is equal to r by 3 r plus 1 this is relation number 2 ok. So, this we are assuming that this statement is true. Third and last step we have to show that p r plus 1 is true. So, we will put n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. Now, we have to show that we have to show that p r plus 1 is 
true and for this putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. Okay? So, we will get here this is 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 up to in place of n we have to write r plus 1 finally. So, when we will put r here that will be second last term. So, 1 by 3 r minus 2 into 3 r plus 1 this is second last term and the last term we will get by putting n is equal to r plus 1. So, this is 1 by 3 into r plus 1 minus 2 and second factor is 3 into r plus 1 plus 1. Okay? And the right hand side is in place of n we will put r plus 1. So, right hand side is r plus 1 divided by 3 into r plus 1 plus 1. So, finally, this is r plus 1 divided by 3 r plus 4, 3 r plus 3 plus 1. So, this is 3 r plus 4. Okay? Let us start with left hand side and we will show that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Then we will be able to say that p r plus 1 is true. But you see here up to these many terms this is equal to r upon 3 r plus 1 here you see this much is equal to r upon 3 r plus 1. So, for these many terms we can write r upon 3 r plus 1 and the last term is 1 upon let us multiply it with 3 3 r plus 3 minus 2 means 3 r plus 1. 3 r plus 1 and second factor will be 3 r plus 3 plus 1. So, 3 r plus 4, 3 r plus 4. Now, let us simplify it. Here we can take 3 r plus 1 common here. So, 1 by 3 r plus 1 is common. From the first term there will be r here and from the second term 1 upon 3 r plus 4. So, 1 upon 3 r plus 4. Let us simplify it further. 1 upon 3 r plus 1 into here LCM is 3 r plus 4. LCM is 3 r plus 4 and here r into this much. So, 3 r square plus 4 r plus 1. 3 r square plus 4 r plus 1 and this is in numerator this is quadratic expression. So, we will factorize it we will split up into we will split up this middle term into two parts and we will try to factorize it. So, this is 1 upon 3 r plus 1 and into this numerator can be written as 3 r square plus 3 r plus r plus 1 divided by 3 r plus 4. Now, let us simplify it further and this is equal to 1 upon 3 r plus 1 into we will take common here in first two terms. So, 3 r is common here in numerator 3 r is common. So, r plus 1 and last two term r plus 1 is already there. So, 1 into r plus 1 divided by 3 r plus 4 and this is equal to 1 by 3 r plus 1 divided by here r plus 1 into 3 r plus 1 r plus 1 into 3 r plus 1 divided by 3 r plus 4 correct. So, you see 
here 3 r plus 1 will be cancelled out from numerator and denominator and you are getting here r plus 1 divided by 3 r plus 4 which is equal to this right hand side. This is equal to right hand side. So, we are getting here left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, therefore, we are getting left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, P r plus 1 is true. Therefore, P r plus 1 is true. Okay, fine. And uh, at the last, we have to write the statement that therefore, this given P n is true for all n. So, this question has been proved here. Our solution is proved. So, I hope you have understood it very well and we have to see some more problems in other videos to come. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.